What's up, guys? Welcome back to Code Adam, brought to you by the one and only Adam Rosen. Um, yeah, so, you know, like I said, I'm bringing Code Adam back. I'm bringing back other reactions to get, you know, stuff other than Unordinary down um, because I got a lot on the list still. Um, but um, so we're back here with Code Adam. Last time we read episodes 37 and 38, uh, just both of uh, the Atlas and Beast fight chapters. Episode 38 ended off with Atlas essentially getting the upper hand on Vs. V setting fire to uh, the, to the neighborhood. I forget the slums. I think it it it, it might be called the slums. I think. Um. Anyway, Vs just kind of like completely losing his mind and um, you know, just setting everything ablaze. Uh, all to try to get to Atlas. He tried to set everything on fire so that, you know, Atlas would have to use what limited resource he had with the water available to turn into ice. Um, just kind of like, you know, making everything, um, basically trying to have everything get in his favor. Uh, and at the last second, though, it started to rain. Now, I'm not sure if Atlas did that himself. Uh, I think Vs even questioned if Atlas could even do that. Um, but it seems kind of like it was more so like a divine intervention and i don't hate if it i wouldn't hate it if it was divine intervention um i think that could have been cool i i think i think that would have been cool because also atlas doesn't really confirm or deny either if he if he was the one who did that to Vs. he doesn't really say so anyway that's where episode 38 ended off so here we are going to be reading to episode 39 so here we go let's get right into it so here back at the lab oh and oh it's annie is this annie so it's it's raining you should remember what nine said okay so maybe it was just divine intervention if it's raining here too like I said, either way, I don't care. I, th I think it was just a nice little... I think it was just nice to have anyway. That's suicide! Of course we should stop him! You don't understand how strong Atlas truly... Okay, maybe he did make it rain. Annie, listen carefully. You're going to be in charge of the most important person in the world. He saved this country... He won the war all by himself. His name is Atlas. Your duty is to serve. I, this this seems kind of, this doesn't seem okay. But, uh, you know, I guess Atlas saved Annie's parents or something. Saved their country, at least. Your training will be hard, but you have to make sure you're chosen as his aid. Okay, yeah, no, this this definitely isn't. No matter what, you understand? Right, Annie? Oh, that's, that's kind of depressing. That's not okay. I know Atlas down to his very core. This will be good for him. Vis, congratulations. I challenged you and lost. So, what will you do with me? Force me to heal you? Now, Alice is, Alice is pretty boosted. Hurry up and tend to the wounded. We can talk later. Treat them first. Man, Alice's heart is in the right place. And V's got V's got nine hair right now. His hair looks like nines, just due to the rain. <laughs> rain's just coming down. He's freezing his wounds. That's right. That's something he does. <sighs> Sir, thank you. I haven't done anything. Don't be modest. We've been watching you since you entered the slums. I was right. We know. We know. Those were your powers. Please, let us treat your wounds. We don't have much, but some buildings survived thanks to you. I'll be all right. Okay, okay. So it was, At it was Alice's power. Okay. 
Uh, that's cool too. That's cool too. I'll be all right on my own. But thanks for the offer. Well, wait. We also want to ask you something. The that name the doctor mentioned, Orion. We think we used to know him. Long ago, while we were still fighting in the war, there was a genius named Orion. He came from a long line of weapons manufacturers. His family made a fortune off the conflict. Seeing his potential, they put a great deal of resources into his upbringing. All the tutors and information he could want were at his disposal. He was hailed as a prodigy. Okay. Everyone thought that with his intelligence and his roots, he would create a weapon to end the war. I don't want to kill people. I want to save them. The first time we met him was in the military hospital. His, intention, his inventions eased the lives of everyone here. This is really cool. I like this. His skill and, more importantly, passion were evident. But even so, why are you wasting your time here? Don't you know how much we've suffered? If you have time to mess around, make some weapons to prevent us from getting hurt. Yo, fuck you people. People are dying on the front lines as we speak. Our homes are being destroyed. We don't, you don't know because you've always been protected by your money. Hurry up and kill our enemies. That's enough. I know this art. I know this art. I know I know this art. I know this art, R Rosen. This repeated itself over and over. Not just in hospitals, but in the entire nation. Until the day he went missing. Someone thought, some thought he committed suicide. But others said he had been recruited onto a secret government project. No matter which it was, no one ever saw him ever again. Okay. Okay, so we're getting... So we know how Orion... We know how Orion got brought onto the project, it seems. I, I thought this would have been during his time with everyone. I thought that's what that would have been. But this chapter was nice. Um, we got confirmation that Alice is fucking stacked as all shit. A nice look into Annie's past too. Um, it's cool to see how it's cool to see the beginnings of how she got put in charge of Atlas and like watching over him and stuff. Um, I don't I don't like the look her parents gave her. I don't trust that one bit. I assume that we'll see more into that later and. I'm scared. To, I'm I'm honestly scared to see to see that. But yeah, Vis is up to something though. I don't think I don't think that Vis is still gonna follow through with Atlas. I think some fuck shit's gonna happen. Let's go. Ahead, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go ahead and jump right into the next episode actually, because it seems like that might be uh. Okay, so. So, Vs is tending to the sick. Back already? Well, I'm on to the non-critical patients, so you have nothing to worry about. Here for my ability at last? Though I must warn you, I'll have to get close to use it on you. I don't need your ability for myself. Then who? T2s. <sighs> I can't do that. My ability doesn't work on them. I've tried in the past. I've tried it in the past. Perhaps I shouldn't say it doesn't work. I can still heal short-term injuries, but I can't do the long-term damage you're likely thinking of. If you came here for that, then I'm sorry to inform you that your entire visit here was a failure. I may be able to help you with other things, though. For example, the cure those T2s are working on. No, that's all I came for. What? 
Don't you need all the originals for the cure? Then ask me to help with it right now. Okay. Vis, will you help with the cure? <laughs> Very well. Depending on what you're willing to sacrifice... See, I knew you were just going to say that, so I'll just leave again. But you defeated me! You can even take me by force! I won't do that. Uh, I know this heart, too. I've seen... I, I remember... This is an emote. Oh, I see. <laughs> His life isn't personally dependent on the cure. So he's giving giving up on it and abandoning the T2s. As if he could ever do that. That could only mean... You've come up with some other plan for completing the cure. Honestly, this is absurd. You're putting in far too much effort for something that hardly concerns you. But if you insist on going this far... <laughs> what do I owe you for this? It's on the house. Can't have you fall into the hands of someone else after all. If you say so. See you later, Vis. Vis did something. Vis did something. He was about to start his own business, too. What's wrong? Oh, Nora, it's nothing. My son was selected for the draft. I should have... I know I should have been ready for it. But still, to think that I'll never see him again. Would your son be willing to work here? Huh? Employees for this project are exempted from the draft. It would be mundane clerical work. But if I requested him as a worker, it might be approved... Oh, Nora, would you really do that? I can't guarantee it will work. No, thank you for even trying. Don't tell anyone, okay? Of course. We have to go now, but thank you again. Yes, take care. Nora looks kind of familiar. Was she one of the doctors? I don't think she was one of the doctors from the facility. Orion! Oh, it's young Vis. Uh, sorry for interrupting. It looks like your pupil is here. Don't worry, I was just leaving. Are you sure? It's not important. It's no trouble. Don't learn too much from him, okay? You should grow up in a world where you don't have to think the same way as us. Vis. What did you come here for? I was wondering something. If you know so much, why do you spend all your time here in the lab instead of a hospital or something? Are you making something here that will help people? You could say that. Really? What is it? It's a secret. But I can help with it! No. It's better if no one else works on this. Vis, in the future, you might discover some unpleasant things about the world. But please remember no, that no matter how many people... Please remember that no matter how people may treat you, you should keep trying to do the right thing. The right thing? How will I know what's right? You just will. Sometimes you might even do the wrong thing and try to tell yourself it's right. But if you pay attention to how you feel, you'll know you're on the wrong path. Then I'll keep trying to be like you. That feels right. Well, all right. But try not to forget Vesta's words. The right thing, huh? Orion. Your son is turning out a lot like you. I wonder if he'll meet the same... I wonder if he'll meet the same end, too. What? 
What? What? What? What? I thought he was talking about himself. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know that Orion is a constellation. Is Atlas a constellation? Atlas is a star in a constellation. They do have the same hair too. I thought that, I thought that when I saw these, or when I saw Orion in the last episode, in the last episode. I saw this and I was like, you know, he kind of, he kind of looks like Nine a little bit or Alice, you know, he got the little hair, the hair too. Oh, fuck. Mm, that's, that's insane. That, I was not ready for that. I, uh, what the fuck? Okay, okay. I need, I need to read. I need to read more to figure out what's going on. Because I thought the horrors were all man... Well, not man-made. I guess... No, I think the horrors still had to be actual kids. But, you know, experimented on, too. Mm. No, no. They had to have been man-made. I... Maybe Atlas is from... Oh, Orion's DNA specifically? Yeah, no, because there's there's definitely something with, like, Orion and Vesta. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, Vesta is Alice's mother figure, but I don't think she she's his actual mom. Fuck, I need to, I need to read this series. Holy shit. I, okay. That's going to be it for this reaction but i am gonna jump right into the next two episodes because i i need to know what happens next i need to know uh shit yeah uh i think there's about 20 episodes left of season two uh yeah i'll check that but rosen i always have been but i'm especially interested now this chapter i know you told me like hey just skip because nothing exciting really happens i'm not skipping like that you're up to some shit rosen and i'm gonna i'm gonna see i'm gonna see what the fuck you're up to but that'll have to wait until next time so hope you guys enjoyed the reaction and as always guys see you space cowboy <laughs>